So, okay, so we're trying to get to the dropship now. And so I guess we're going to be learning how to use the squad. So whenever I uh, issue a command, someone will do it automatically. Autom so I don't need to assign anybody to do it. So, okay. So that's cool. All right, so we need to go... Where are we going? Okay, so we're going over here. Okay, so I got four people, so... Okay. So we need to go here. Cerberus protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. It's planetary quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. I suppose I should walk instead of run. So we need to call the elevator. So we need to go basically just straight down this hallway here to there. So, okay. I have four maintenance things or spanners for whatever reason. I'm not really sure. people really yeah okay gotta go in here let me rotate this thing a bit more there we go. Try and give you all a better view of everything. There we are. You okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. How the hell did he know that? Harper? We've got movement. Sixty meter radius with a white dot, so it looks like it's back over there by the cafeteria. We're heading towards it. Okay, so I see how it has all the green dots, so I'm guessing that's where they're gonna line it up for cover. Yeah, it's still a long ways away. Is there a door there? Nope, the door's here. Okay, so it's in there, so... Even though we're technically close, it's in here as opposed to where we're at, so... But we have to go in here. Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand. It's here. It's here. <laughs> Light it up. Marines are trained to automatically open fire on enemies when detected. Marines will open fire even when walking. When running, Marines can't use any of their weapons, so we need to walk with our Marines. Eyes up! That thing's still out there! I'm assuming it took off. I mean, take him out. Use a grenade. You may have access to skills that will help them deal with various threats. You can open the skill menu by pressing R2. Open the skill menu. Okay. Skill menu. Okay. It's like you one grenade launcher in the skill menu. 
Ghost Marion with a great ally. Grenade launcher fires a grenade that inflicts damage to the selected location. Alright, so. Consumes one command point. It says I have three left, so. Oh, whoops. Well, it's a good thing I'm reading this to you because I'm blocking all this stuff, so. Anyway, aim at the designated area and confirm using X. Well, I want somebody in the middle of it, so. Oh, well, somebody got to use this one. Okay, never mind. Eat them! Squarely bastards, ain't they? Okay. Command points are a resource that can be spent in order to use skills. Command points are refilled over time until the maximum capacity is reached. You will be able to raise this maximum later by upgrading your marines. Use him down, young man. You, Sima. No, you get down. You get down. You get down. Day's playing. Alright, so now we gotta go forward. We need that elevator. Punch it. Punch it. Oh, anyway. Call the elevator. Tracker lighting up. All right. Set for suppressing fire and check your targets. Open the skills menu by pressing R2. The closest we're in with the grenade launcher fires. Oh, select suppressive fire by using L1 and R1 in the skill menu. Okay, suppressive fire. The marine covers a selected area. Within this area, enemies are at 70% of their initial speed. The marine's firing rate is doubled, but as a counterpart, their accuracy is reduced by 20%. It used to be manual cancelled to end. The marine performing suppressive fire cannot run. Okay. So. So they're coming from this way. Enemies who enter an area affected by suppressive fire will suffer a huge speed penalty. The firing rate of the marine who is shooting is drastically increased. But they suffer an accuracy penalty. Excuse me, and cannot run. This action consumes one command point. Aim at the designated area and confirm with X to perform suppressive fire. Getting closer. Closer. Wait for my order. Steady. Steady. Daniel? Daniel? Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes. Where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. So you notice Harper was apparently the one who was just doing suppress fire. She got 64 ammo as opposed to everybody else. Okay, so anyway, so we're all in here, so... Pioneer through the station's lower levels. Okay, so we need to go over there. Hey, what a mess! Fuck! What the fuck was coming. that? Hold still, I'm. Oh no. What? This blood is some kind of acid. Fuck, what kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm not dying here. All right, 
Let's get off this damn station. Acid burst. When a xenomorph dies, there's a chance that it might explode into an acid burst, causing one damage to any nearby marines. Oh, yeah, you can see Latimer's had a lot of damage there. Uh, your marines can walk and shoot at the same time, so keep moving in the opposing direction of the xenomorphs that are coming at you. Understood. We need Latimer mobile ASAP. I'll break open the medkit. Each marine has their own health bar. This health bar is composed of the following. Life, represented by health points. Armor, represented by white armor points. So, as you can see, Latimer has no armor. When a marine's health drops to zero, they will end up either in a critical condition or dead. A light wound will be applied to any marine whose health drops to two points. In this case, your marine has a wounded leg, which applies a movement speed penalty. Light wound effects are described in the codex. First aid. You can heal a wounded marine using the first aid interaction option. A marine will go over to your marine and perform the first aid interaction. The interaction consumes one unit of medical supplies. Select it Shit. and heal. Ah, Ruiz, you're making it worse. Mish, don't be such a baby. There you go. Yeah, full pretty, health. But that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. Your Marines have access to skills that will help them deal with various sites. You can open up the skill menu by pressing R2. Open the skill menu. Select Shotgun Blast by using L1 and R1 in the skill menu. Oh, there it is. Fuck. Well, it's buggy, I can tell you that much. Shotgun Bash consumes one command point. Aim at the designated area and confirm the skill with X. Switch to side on. Those things are handy for close encounters. Yeah, like I said, it's not optimized for a controller. I'm obviously noticing a lot of issues with it here. Fortunately, I got this on story, so... Hell of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! He's got some sort of psychic link to things, I have to say. Seems like he knows things. Sergeant Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! 
Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. It's no time for you to use everything you've learned in order to survive. Order a Marine to lay suppressive fire. Multiple contacts closing fast. How many of those things are there? Too many. We have to go. More of them are coming. Hold your position, Marines. Well, don't worry, Hunslet. There's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die. Pause and slow. When you open the skill menu, you either activate slow mo or pause the game. You will. This will give you time to use skills like the grenade launcher or shotgun blast with greater ease and precision. You can switch between slow-mo and pause at any time in the gameplay tab on the options menu. Well, considering how much problem I'm having with it, I definitely would choose pause, because it's definitely not. Uh, Okay. All right, so we made it off the base. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... That's I don't me. know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Too steep, we're gonna burn up. Oh. Oh, apparently, it's not gonna burn up, so hey. what do I know? Oh, wow, I can land. Huh. That's interesting. That was different. I give him that. I mean, that's a relatively good landing, considering what kind of damage they've taken. Not too shabby. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. 
Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Ace, you better come with me. He has jungle camo on. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shit housed. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. Do you want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to- You heard, to Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. But that doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. That's We're right. Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. Okay, so base management. You are now on the USS Otago. Otago crashed after the activation of the Severus protocol. It will be used as an operational base for your Marines between each deployment. So it says over here in the left hand corner investigate Dead Hills Colony and search for any survivors. Otago repairs 0%, available Marines 10. Okay, so. Understood. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half of my orderlies are dead, and the med bay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking no at? No duct tape. Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. The med bay is where wounded marines are sent to recover from their injuries. You can assign a physician to a wounded marine to speed up the healing process. For each physician assigned to a wounded marine, the recovery period is reduced by one day. This one's a priority. Understood. Okay. Meet with the chief engineer in the workshop. Okay, so I'm present R2, so there's a two discovered. Can't do anything there, so. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckles have to support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Need a gun, Administrator? In the workshop, you can unlock weapons. Okay, so there are other parts of this ship that I haven't been to yet. Producing weapons requires materials. Once functional again, the workshop will allow you to unlock weapons for your Marines. Weapons provide specific skills and increase damage done. Understood. 
So in order to use a smart gun, I need a level three gunner, heavy pulse rifle, level six marine, plasma rifle, level ten marine. Level three marine for a revolver. Level six marine for a submachine gun. Got an incinerator unit, level two marine, a mine, level two marine. RPG launcher level six and a level three recon. Okay, so got it. So I need to go to the laboratory. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... <clears throat> Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Have a nice day, Administrator. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. Oh no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes. Which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know? Intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm going to keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Dun, dun, dun. All right. You can access the deployment panel from the command deck. Select the launch mission button. All right. Well, before we do that, we're going to stop. It's almost gone 30 minutes. And, you know, hey, why not pick up where we left off here? So I hope you've enjoyed it. We will pick up with a mission to investigate the Dead Hills Colony and search for any survivors. So I guess we need to get the Otago 100% repaired to progress the campaign, and we've got 10 Marines to do it in, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. hope you're having a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.